you can find an overview of all my videos at www.genesispc.com and you click on the button videos on YouTube and you get a complete listing of all the videos I created for you on Excel on Excel VBA on Access Access VBA and VB script tips in this video we are going to compare two lists with each other one is the current list one is an old list and we want to find out in the current list who is new and what were their previous systolic blood pressure pressure values if they are different and in the previous list we are going to find out who has gone from the list in the new list in order to do so you need to know a little bit about how you make cell references in this case I put in here equals a1 and when you copy formulas like that down they automatically adjust to their new setting if you don't want that to happen you type in there equals a1 and you lock the a and the 1 you make them absolute by pressing the f4 key the f4 key when you copy that formula down it will not adjust to its new location you can also lock one of the two in this case I locked a row number so again I do equals a1 and then I press f4 twice accept it and copy it down and the last one you press f4 three times if you do it four times you are back again to the first setting so it's a cycle key why is that so important for sometimes you don't want to, ch to change your references when you copy formulas down and that's what we need to know here I put here new columns to find out what happened to my patients I unhide those columns and I'm going to find out who is a new patient here Bush is apparently a new patient no but Roosevelt is a new patient he's not in the list there how did we find that out first of all I need absolute cell addresses sometimes and in this case I did that in an if function with an o, a nested or function an or functions returns true if one of the values is true so what did we do there we put an or function in there and the or function was as follows if b5 the patient bush equals g5 through g15 g5 through g15 lock g5 through g15 that should not change but b5 should change into b6 b7 etc and if one of those is true I go back to the if function by clicking on the word if in the formula bar if one of those is true then I don't put anything in there double quotes double quotes otherwise I put the word new in there however this is a array formula that means it, you do not just accept it the way it is if you do let, let's say I had not done my work properly I had just accepted that formula it tells me that Bush is new and he's not new and I copy the formula down and it gives me the wrong results it doesn't give you an error but the wrong result so that first formula was not correct what should I have done go back to your formula bar you should have accepted it with control shift enter notice that you got braces in your formula bar do not type those braces they come automatically with control shift enter when you copy that formula down you get the correct results and it will update automatically if I change the name Bush into Bushville or Obama then Obama becomes a new patient how can you test that kind of functions because they are very complicated sometimes I'm going to find out what inside the OR function what happens to B5 equals etc you press F9 you highlight that section don't include too much or too little and press F9 
and it says false, 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 false. It's always false, so the OR function returns false. So if it's false, it puts the word new in there. Once you are done testing, press escape. Don't press enter. Okay. So I did something similar here. But in this case, I am checking G5 relative in the range B5 or B15 absolute, locked. And don't forget to make it an array function again and copy the formula downwards. This one is a little more complicated because I have to find who is new and then I have to find if they are old, did the systolic blood pressure change? For Carter it did. Let's put this back to Bush. For Bush it did not. So what is the formula in there? It is heavily nested. It says here is the OR function again. I click on OR to see what is in there. This time what is in there is a little more complicated. It says if B5 hooked on to C5, we do that with the ampersand. B5 ampersand C5 equals the entire range G5 or G15 hooked on to H5, H15 with the ampersand. And that is the formula. If that is the case, or then we put that in an if function, and the if function says if this is the case, then it's nothing, but otherwise I have to look up what the previous value was. So the VLOOKUP function, I click on VLOOKUP in the formula bar, the VLOOKUP function here says if B5, bush, in the t find that bush in G5 or H15 locked, find the answer in column 2 with VLOOKUP, and make it an absolute match by setting that to 0. If VLOOKUP cannot find you, you get an error message. So I put all of that inside if error. If it's an error, then I couldn't find anything and I put the word new in there. Again, if you want to test this, I'm going to do that specifically for this section. Let's do first B5 and C5, F9. It says Bush 120. It made that one word with the ampersand. Then I check that in the entire range, F9, and I get false, true, for this case, false, 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 false. If one of them is true, then it gives me this. Otherwise, it's going to V look up and look that up. Escape. I'm going to do that here one time. Notice that in this case, I have always falses, falses, so VLOOKUP cannot find anything, so it puts the words. These are array functions, single cell array functions that you can copy down. They are extremely powerful, so you want to know much more about them. I made three CD-ROMs on that issue. They are filled with array functions and two books for scientists and on simulations for everyone filled with array functions. You can find them at genesispc.com.